What's that in the world? Happy Friday. Hey, what's Welcome up? to another episode of Cognac Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun. Here at Where Media Meets Studios in conjunction with VJ TV, Feral Films, History and the hey. Making Entertainment, Keep It Cloudy Productions. On this Friday, Fly Media Group. Yeah, shout out to Fly Media Group, and Venus Lounge. Uh, we here. It's been an interesting week as always. Uh, this has been a very interesting, uh, week. Uh, uh, trying week. And on some Disturbingly front, interesting. Yeah, very, very, very. Let everybody introduce themselves as usual. Well, first off, I believe that's me. It's your boy Feral Films for the Symphony. And to the left of me, R O C K E. Not one, not two, but the number three. X times three. Thank you, sir. Yes. And I'm Deja, Ice Queen. What's that name? Welcome. You gotta give us a little more flavor. Yeah. Yeah. They know me, but they know me. Right. <laughs> like so, they well, know. pop your collar when you talk like that. Period. <laughs> so. I figure we start off with uh, the most important thing on, on mm -hmm. our minds. Um, we have Monet Dawson, who's been missing since the 14th, the 14th of June, uh, posted um, on the page on, you know, her information and whatnot. Um, if anybody can uh, find any information, please uh, reach out. To the Oakland Police Department. This is a, uh, you know, this is. And if you don't feel comfortable reaching out to the police, I know how some of y'all are. Mm -hmm. You can reach out to one of us, or if you know any of her other family members or anything like that, please tap in. It's of utmost importance. Yes. And even if you have any information, even if you don't think it's important, please let 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 the, let the fam decide if it's important or not. But tap in, you know. Or you can reach out to me. Because Monet is like my daughter. Yeah. Her and my daughter are best friends. And they went back to elementary school together. They mm -hmm. were inseparable. And right now, it's, it's really messing my daughter up. Because my daughter lives in L.A. You know what I mean? And her, one of her best friends is missing. And she hasn't seen her in a while. And it's just so many sketchy things happening. The last time her car was spotted was on the Benicia Bridge on the 16th. Right, headed so, northbound. Said northbound. So I know she has family in Sac, but her family in Sacramento hasn't seen her either. So if you know people in Sacramento, look out for her pictures on Facebook. You can go to uh, Connie at Confessionals. Well, you should be on Connie at Confessionals now. Look at her picture, look on Facebook. But it's very important that we find her. We want to make sure she's all right. And hope maybe she might have just, you know, disappeared for a while to get away. She might not know she's missing, but. We're letting you know she's missing. So if you can share this, please let folks know because there's a lot of people who love her and are very, very concerned about her. Very much so. Amen. Um, there's been a lot of other interesting things going on this week. Mm -hmm. That um, everybody was all, you know, that selective caring about the. Uh, the, the motherfuckers in the submarine, and I ain't trying I to be insensitive. I knew they asked. I knew they asked. I ain't, rap from I the gate. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to be insensitive. You know, <laughs> here's, um, here's to them. Yeah, rest in peace to them. But I mean, it's a lot more important shit going on. Than but actually, it ain't. I mean, it is. But let me tell you what some of the family members is coming out saying that. A couple of those people, a couple of the people that got on the submarine was basically pressure. Mm -hmm. On the going, like the younger ones was like, "Hey, oh, I'm yeah. good off this," and got basically punked into going. Only now, one young was only one. now, just imagine you got your whole life in front of you, and somebody gassed your dumb ass up to get on a submarine that's about big as this table. Five motherfuckers, there's four of us right here, okay. and this little ass table, and we're gonna go to the bottom of the ocean to look at. Some, come on, that was man. a bad idea in the first place. Well, yeah, it was the it was a it was a. A billionaire, his son. Cool. It was uh, the professor the and professor, Marianne, which is funny. <laughs> I, I don't know if he was a professor or not, but he was like an expert um, on the Titanic. He was a French expert on the Titanic, and then the guy that owned the submarine. Hey, was, I believe it was them four. Well, if he was an expert on the Titanic, he should have been able to tell they dumbasses. Guess what? It sunk. 
Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Why would you? Here is my thing. I'm just thinking that that submarine that they got in, which I think was like two hundred thousand dollars or whatever, wasn't built to go that deep. It was built for a ride at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Damn. So it wasn't built. It, it wasn't built to go. How do you test a submarine like that? Like, you know what? I want to know how deep this goes. And once you get as deep as it go, you be like, up oh, too late. My ass is done. So I'm they took. Sure so, so they took some shit from Great America or something <laughs> and tried to go to the bottom of the. I mean, was they trying to get some gold up out that moment? Like, what was the? What, what think, were we trying to do? Because I think what happened is they said the, the submarine imploded, right? And mm -hmm. it crushed like a beer can. Yeah. That means it went it way too too much, too, too much pressure went way too deep mm -hmm. for what it was capable for. So how do you test that? You know what I mean? You can't test that unless you go for it. But I don't know if this was the first time he tried to dive down there and did that, or what was the submarine used for before? What what kind of what kind of stuff was they doing in it before before this happened? Well, why, would, what would they why would they first drive with in the submarine be with billionaires and stuff? That seems oh, reckless. Sure. Because so, it's a cash that got money. Better than the money, okay? <laughs> yeah, real talk. It's cash that got money that go. I want to go see the Titanic. I got all this money. Take it. I, I ain't got nothing to do. The yeah, same way you got the people playing paying to go to outer space. But here go my thing. Here's my thing. So, I yeah. ain't never mad at the dude who comes up with a dumbass idea. Because we've all came up with dumbass ideas. Mm -hmm. You should always be mad at the second motherfucker who says, all right. Mm -hmm. See, because any time you've ever, I've ever came up with some truly stupid shit, somebody been like, hey, blood be cool. And then it left out my head. Mm -hmm. But when you got a motherfucker that say, you know what? I'm with you. That's how motherfuckers end up in the penitentiary or crushed at the bottom of the fucking ocean. If anybody, this let's just be a public service announcement. Okay. If any of your folks come up with some stupid shit, don't co-sign it. Even if it's simple as simple as we're gonna go around the corner and fight so and, and so, and no, don't just don't co-sign no that how, shit. No, no matter how much money they got, because like I said, money talks bullshit runs a marathon. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because if yes, I tell man. you, yes, man. Yeah. Like, oh, that's a great idea. Hey, nigga. You you play basketball, nigga. Take that gun in the club. That's a great motherfucking idea. Niggas yeah. will fire me from the yes man because I'll be like, hey, hold on, blood. Uh, yeah, that's, bro. You that's sound hella that goofy yeah. right now. Yo, boy, <laughs> you got you too much to lose, bro. Yeah. yeah uh, it, hey, and this is also for Jabba Rat. <laughs> yeah, yo, boy. Like Let you, me you, out, though. You, you seen that, right? Yeah. Like you yeah. Got that rock out. Oh, he so, hated me because I'd have been like, hey, blood, that shit up like, nigga, don't get caught they up. They wouldn't anybody me nowhere. Nah, nigga, run. They, you, so you got, yeah, I mean, he kill all the fun. Yeah. But you got, you got, you had that going on, and like I said, I ain't trying to be insensitive. The internet is undefeated. <laughs> and with all the shit, I was like, you looking at all the memes and the shit, and I'm like, you know something? That's kind of harsh. Yeah. The shit I was seeing, I'm like, dude, it's because it's not funny. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no, It's not. <laughs> but Damn, so <laughs> it's not funny. Being honest, you know, it's not funny. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, what the fuck was they thinking? You know. I um, just told but you, you had you had more important shit going on. You got like money. I, said. I know. I and you know. just do shit like yeah, that. People do what they want to do. Personally, Somebody woke up one day and said, hey. I'm not going in nobody's rocket ship that ain't NASA. Mm -hmm. right. If NASA go, hey, check this out. We'll fly to the moon. We got all these experienced ass astronauts. You can't go to the bottom of the ocean on Spirit Submarine. Right. That's funny. <laughs> My bad. That's hilarious. Okay, see? Okay. You say that you weren't going to do that. I wasn't. I know. My bad. You say so, you yeah, what happened to the respectful is not funny. I'm sorry. Okay, but that was I'm funny. sorry. Had that me feeling funny. like way back because the shit has been... I've been yeah. laughing for I, a couple I, I, days. I, I, I've, I've been, been laughing, saying. but I'm just saying. But, I mean, you got you got a bunch of stuff. You got uh, the motherfucking Frisco I just seen. This fool, and I, I seen him, was, I guess it was a youngster, killed this... Killed the dude because he complimented his chick. Oh, at the Bart station. I was seeing the news. I was so disgusted. I didn't even get the details. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with motherfuckers nowadays, but listen, if somebody compliments your woman, just leave it alone. If she ain't like, ooh, and all in your face disrespected, dude, just for real. And I bet you, dollars to donuts, dude started to compliment like this. Say, bruh, no disrespect. But your woman is fine. You know what I mean? I don't, yeah, know I don't think he just went, ay, man, you see off the motherfucker. It went like that, bro. Who knows? But I'm just saying, dude. Insecurities. Say. Insecurities. But you killed a dude. Now, bro, you're going to jail for a very long time. 
for absolutely no reason. You're a dumbass. That's wild. You're a dumbass. And now she's she's gonna go I, off. You think she? Oh, man, she, she ain't down. No. The minute you was locked up, your chick is gone. Yep, man. She, that's, that's just dumb shit. I don't it's, feel like he did it because of like he felt like it was disrespectful. He did it because he felt like if he didn't, he would be looked at as like you know. No, get back with your mouth, tell a nigga like this. That's why she with me, bro. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't see that as a big deal, but some when, some guys like in some certain mindsets feels like, oh, if I don't get at him, they are gonna look at me as a. I'm a clown. I'm a clown. But yeah. that's the reason why you with her. She's bad. You want a motherfucker to talk with you? I haven't seen the female, so I I don't know if she bad. True. You know, but no, if she with know. me. And somebody say, whoop de whoop, I'm yeah. like, that's why she with me, partner. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm even shake his hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, boy, you see me? Like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least, I need your woman find him up. Or, damn, yeah. baby, you find you. Hey, you understand, bro. You understand. Yeah. You understand me? That's that's when you, uh, right. you, understand, you tug on your collar a little bit. You know, right. I'm going to pop my shit. I just hold yeah. it. You, know, you, you, you yeah. see me yeah. adjusting yeah. shit now. Yeah. 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 But now, I ain't want to gossip. But yeah. on the flip side, that's, how you do that. that's why you that can't serious. even, sometimes when you're out and about and you're dealing with strangers and stuff like that, you can't even be sociable and stuff like that because all you need is just something like I seen one where a dude was in a barber shop in Texas. Mm -hmm. Little boy was getting his hair cut, and dude in the crowd said, "I see you, young man. You're looking handsome." And the father starts talking, about, "What you mean? He looking handsome?" And shot blood and killed him in the barber shop. So you just kind of gotta when you out when you out here and you dealing with people like. I'm a friendly, outgoing person. Mm -hmm. So I'll be like, hey, I see you playing. Well, I'm one of them type of yeah. people. But I'm it's some real nuts out here player. that are looking for a reason to crash out. Right. I'm and they'll take some shit that they know wasn't even meant as no insult and twist it in something because they trying to because they trying to go out. They, you know, I wish they just go jump off a building. You know what I'm saying? Since you're trying to crash out. Spare all the rest of us. Just do yourself. Yeah. Taking all these lives. Exactly. It's like you didn't. You know, you didn't shot this man. You see the dude Prisco that shot. I thought you was gonna mention the dude. He shot the Uber Eats guy. Was his order wrong? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Frisco. It was in Koreatown, downtown, on 27th and Telegraph. Oh. Dude was coming in. To, they got. They showed it on Channel 2 this morning. They got the video. Dude was coming in with the delivery. As he was coming in with the delivery, dude, the other dude was coming out with his dogs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the dog snipped the dude, but dude said, you know, like, hey, get your dog. And dude pulled out a gun and shot blood and killed him. Yeah, it was on, it was on Channel Two this morning. The news, but it was on uh, Twenty Seven the Telegraph. They had just put, they put the cameras up there and blood shot even killed people. Oh, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Broad daylight, and he had his Uber. He he had the bag in his hand like this, like he was just waiting to that's come inside. Song. You don't know about that. You're 30. I know all about. <laughs> you're thirty. You don't know about I'm that. I'm not thirty yet. Let's make that clear. But so, he's coming for you. Oh, you're going to yeah, it's, it's just we just living in some we just living in some some really wild and times. A lot of people are strong on the edge, so y'all just be careful. Here's out a there. shot. Here, here's here's a message to some of these kids out here that don't know that when you're toting a gun and you're committing a murder, I'm not saying who did, but when you're committing a murder, you know there's no statute of limitations on it. So don't think that you're gonna be kill, chill, chilling for seven years and go, oh, it's over now. So they find out I did it. I'm good. No, bro. You could be 60 or 70 and go to jail for murder, bruh. Mm -hmm. You can go to jail for being an accessory. Do you know that? So don't yeah. think they're never going to find your ass. Or you could be like my son. He, he did something to somebody over some completely absolute minor shit. And right now, and my son's not a petite guy, from his elbow to the extension of his arm is how wide his cell is. And he got to sit in there for about another 17 years. And even then, when the 17 years is up, the parole board are gonna have to say, all right, we think you got a better attitude. So realistically, he might not ever walk out of there and the shit that went down was so fucking minor that, that what he did wasn't minor, but what caused it was so minor that to this day, I sometimes wake up in the middle of the night and be like, damn, blood, you really threw it all the way over that shit? Right. Yes, you know, like, crazy. what the fuck? So, Mike, <laughs> peer pressure don't mean shit to me. I've never been subjected to peer pressure. And there's Mark That's Anthony with the dumb shit in the yeah. crowd. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, you a punk, nigga. I'm going to have to be that punk, homeboy. Period. Because like, I'm, I'm the one that's doing the shit, not you. 
Because what you're going to do is if something happens to me, if my ass get locked up for it, you niggas is going to be sitting at home drinking the meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that was my right, nigga right, right there, bro. Right, that nigga about to pull 20. <laughs> I like eating ribeyes. I like watching whatever I want to watch. Mm -hmm. OT, I like being, the, I like night, being able to shit. go home and come as I please. you can do in the right. penitentiary. Uh, all the shit I like to do, you can't do in the penitentiary. I like having my own bathroom. I like eating what the fuck I want to eat. Mm -hmm. Shower by yourself like unless you got a female. I ain't, I ain't got to. Nobody. I ain't got to look over my shoulder. Nobody. None of that shit. I'm great. I ain't gonna keep with the fam when I want to. <laughs> I do all that shit. I ain't got to be like, man, these niggas in the yard making a nigga nervous, bro. Yeah, I like crazy. seeing shit on the Travel Channel and going there. Period. Right. That part. Just think, you're sitting in the penitentiary and you're not going anywhere. In fact, you can't even like go like, hey, I'm cool on this. Let me go see the other penitentiary. <laughs> you, you're just in the penitentiary no, where you I at. I see the other <laughs> I mean, you want to get out every now and then and do some shit. That's hilarious. Yeah. I would stay faking a heart attack or something so they'd have to take me to the hospital. Just a little field trips. Something. I can't stand a black man in jail, so... I'll be in the crazy ward. I've been watching the A-Team. So that means she ain't number. receiving no collect calls from y'all. And she's putting nothing on your books. I can't. I can't. So act right. I'm not going to say that's not right. That's pretty accurate. Mm. So. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, speaking of money, speaking of money on the Mike, books. Mike, happening? You got a lot of things going on. Tell us a little bit about them, you know? And how you came up with the name The Ice Queen. It actually came up with me. Like, it just came to me. People just started, once I started rapping, the name just came with it. Because you were so cold in your lines, or just you're a cold person or something? You don't seem like a cold person, so tell us about it. No, I'm really friendly. I'm just like, um, kind of like over the top, I guess. So it's like, you, she always icy, she always whatever. And then I'm from the north, so they was like, that's definitely you. You're the ice queen. Hey, look who so, here. I'm cool. Hey. Hey. Be in the house, my oh boy. Hey, so uh, what what did, what what did spark you? How long you been? How long you been acting? Um, I've been acting actually for a minute in and out, but I've been trying to take it more seriously lately because mm -hmm. I feel like well, I always wanted to do that more than music, but the music kind of caught okay. me when I put my first song out and I put on YouTube it kind of just took off and everybody's like oh you're an artist you do music blah 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 so it kind of overshadowed all the other stuff I was doing okay so that kind of put you in that, that category line. yeah so everybody thinks I'm like a rapper but really I, I'm, I'm an R&B singer and I just started rapping that one song and everybody's like oh you were so fired I'm like Okay, do the national anthem. That's a oh, weird ass say, request. Can you, actually, I know parts of it. What else? Can you was we actually going to get cracking? We do not say that shit on this show. No. <laughs> so what? What do you? What do you foresee? Because the acting, the movie scene here in the Bay Area is really starting to explode. You know, you ready see, to jump in it? That's what. That's why I was like, everybody. I see that it's like coming together, and all these beautiful people, all these beautiful black. Actors, I'm like, this is, I love it. I gotta be a part of this. So that's the reason why well, I'm you're trying so to nice and in. humble. You ready to put your foot on these motherfuckers next door and step to the front? I'm trying. Yeah, what's going on with all that old fake <laughs> humble <laughs> shit? You, you came to be a star. You came to shine, right? I always shine, but I don't feel like I gotta like step over somebody to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get there. Like I don't want to just like. But yeah, we on a next. Let me tell you, I'm hella old, right? <laughs> I'm hella old. And one time, remember the Gavin? Yeah. Way back in the guys, the Gavin used to be a music convention camp in Frisco. And one day somebody, and they just had some older gentlemen of a certain religious preference that was running the things. They still running things. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't want to say it though, how they say it, because it might, some people might take it offensive. But anyway, make a long story short, one day one of them said, he used Russell Simmons as an example. He said, if you had two phone calls coming in and your mother was in ICU on one line, and Russell Simmons was on the other one. What call do you take? What? Three way? And I'm like, I'm like, oh, and Paul Glancy said, if you really got the passion to make it in this game. My mama will understand. You exactly. <laughs> she will exactly. Understand. That's basically what he said. Your mom will understand. Make the call to make the money. A lot of people have over the years I've said that to people, and they've been like, Well, you sound crazy. And I'm like, okay, but you know, um, the people I we love, can all be together with me in the front. Right. <laughs> so the people I love know I love them. I got them from day one. But if some money on the line, I have to go because this is business. This is this is what I'm passionate okay, about. Okay, ice queen. So at the you end got of the day, it. They understand that, but sometimes I got to get so. So your 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 
stage name is Ice Queen. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Um, pretty much just came. Well, everybody started calling me Queen because I'm cold. the Queen of front You know, I'm ice cold always. Always dressed all nice Oh, good. I mean, because it sounds like, you know, like if you got <laughs> a cloak or something and it can't seem like. Oh, I'm also known for wearing blue hair. So that's okay, because I was just making sure because I was like, you know, brother be trying to get at you. Then you be like, oh, fuck, that damn shit, ice queen. Can we get, to, <laughs> you, know can we get like, you to go back to the blue hair? I'm definitely going back. My birthday's coming up and I'm okay. definitely going back to the icy blue hair. I'm hella excited, but I was waiting. Okay. I'm waiting. So, so working there. Where can they find you on social media? Um, at one ice, well, Instagram at one ice queen, one iced underscore queen, probably. You gotta look it up. Huh? Right, <laughs> hold on, right. I had know. to just make a new Instagram. Oh yeah, it's one. Did you get that? I, mm. I was arguing with these trolls. Don't ever do it. They're not worth it because I had so many followers. And whatever. But it's one ice queen, one underscore ice queen. One and my Instagram, Deja Hill. Okay. So you got two yeah. Instagrams. No, I got a fake. I do have one for the business because I sell hair and I also sell clothes. Oh, okay. For the boutique. Okay. But no, I have one, just one ice oh. underscore queen. Okay. Sorry. Like I said, I just made it, so I had to check that real quick. But no, I was fighting with these trolls over something that didn't matter. So I'm <laughs> about to crash out over things that didn't matter. We just talked about that. I'm but going forward, though. Yeah, I've grown a lot. In the last two weeks? <laughs> you know what? God works in mysterious ways. Facts. Facts. I can't even come back with no joke to that one. Facts. Facts. So where do you see us where do you see yourself in the in the industry going? Um of course I wanna I wanna sing but and I of course I dance, but I really just wanna act. It's really just always what I always wanted to do. And I always said, by the time I turned, what, like 32, I was gonna hang up the rapping anyway. Mainly because it was never for me. It was picked for me, and I was put in a, you know, but mm -hmm. I always wanted so to be- So the people put you in a box, and you ready to break out of it. Yeah, I'm good at a lot of things, but that doesn't mean that's where I'm at mentally or where I wanna be at, you know? But so if a producer asks you to concentrate exclusively on the acting, this and that, you wouldn't have a problem with that? No. Okay. I mean, I have some music coming out, but that's already done. So I was going to drop that. So I got some music coming out this So the producer said, I want to see you nowhere near no vocal booth now. You got to be get there on this acting. You good with that? Yeah. Cool. Because everything needs to, everything has a time. Everything has a place. And when you have an opportunity, I feel like you need to grab it. Like I heard Lauren London say, I just want to, I just want to be there and grab whatever God has for me, and that's what I want to do. If God has she's this talented. opportunity for me, I'm trying to grab it. Okay. She's real talented. I don't want to miss it. That's what's up. So you say you got some music dropping. When is it dropping? It's actually dropping in July. Um, July, I believe. Well, the video's dropping like 15. Who did your video? Um, Actually, still in the work right now, but Jack Boy, he did the video for us. He did my first. He does video a lot too. of videos. Yeah. I don't know him, but I see his name on a lot of videos. Yeah, he did my first video too um, with New Drip, but I didn't really like the way I like the way he did it. I just didn't like the way I looked in it, but it's still out there. What's wrong with how you it. look? I didn't like. I don't know. I didn't like it. Such a women answer. I know. Cause I don't I'm gotta so, look. Well, I'm, hundred dudes turn like, "Oh, you look gorgeous." That's what yeah, they all said. But I was like, I didn't like it. No, I was about to take the whole video down. I'm like, nope. Let's just start over. Well, shout out to Jack Boy and shout out to Hooker Boy. Them is two cats that really, when something comes, when a music video comes out, them is two names I always see. Now, Hooker is my folks. I don't yeah, know Jack folks. Boy, but shout out to you, man. And uh, I mm. see you at the top, man, because I see you acting. Yeah, shout out you to know, everybody actually salute to time. you, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, we congratulate us over here, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Man, we like to see everybody shine, do their mm -hmm. thing. And you can come by here and we can sit and talk about it. Because I'm one of them dudes, if, you, if I like you and you shine, I want you to shine more. If I don't like you and you shine, and I still sure want you to shine, shine because I'm feeling mm -hmm. like if that nigga can shine, Lord knows, wait till they get a load of me. <laughs> I'm just saying. They, uh, you know, say I'm congratulating you every day that ends with a Y. We had some other interesting shit happen too. You got the uh Hey, how about your boy Zion? 
Oh, oh, you, you ready? <laughs> oh, you ready for that? Oh, it's going to it. You been checking out Zion, Zion Williams and Mariah Mills on the, oh, on the, the, so, the yeah. Twitter? It's hard to miss. Like, it's really hard. <laughs> I was, hey, I was going to go one time. Did you see what she got on her face? I, boo, I was no. ready. She got Zion on she her tattooed. face. She tattooed. Oh, yeah, too. Yeah, Since I just the yes. way here. And she posted the video of her getting in the dude, the the name tattooed on her cheek. Talk about... The, Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, I would have my. I would have my. City Boys ready. is up two billion points just based on her and her ass. Yeah, but some of this type of shit can end in murder, suicide. She going to. When she had that body know? paint on, shoot baskets, and had his body paint on shooting baskets. I said, okay, she's I'm certified. Sorry. She gonna cut her wrist or something. She is not. Ha- she is not. She's okay not happy right with now. herself. She's so okay. somebody, Doctor Phil. Uh, What's that girl, Vanya? But, yeah. did you cut her off? but he didn't actually right. cut her off. He just went public with another chick, but he, he didn't cut her Sorry. off. No, nah, she's giving me, he ain't hit me back, and he choosing this girl over me type oh, well. vibes. Because why is she tripping so hard on Twitter if, you know. I'm sorry. This, but she's 30 years old. Oh, she's she older, and this is a young cat. She tried to trap him. I'm, I'm just saying that. And, and to all you young cats, and, and this ain't no shot at the women. Women have been preying on young dudes forever. Young dudes. Just like old dudes be preying on young women. I don't think it'll ever stop. The thing is, you got to yeah, get smart. But, but if, a 30 year old, if a 30-year-old cat will say doing that type of stuff to say I Spice or what's or, or Scarlet or one of these other young girls that start in the bubble or Kiki Palmer or what's this, the Chloe Bailey, people will be Sexy. like, hey, we need that nigga arrested. Right. But if her he doing it to him is jokes. Hey, right, Tanisha, creep ass chicks. They, exactly. I was gonna go there. I was trying to be yeah. nice and polite about it. But I mean shit, I was eighteen with a twenty seven year old. Yeah. But what she 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 been But this was this was this was in the nineties. This was a very long time. Well, a lot ago. of things went on in the nineties that can't fly. But I'm just saying, this shit. I mean, I mean facts. There's no, no. niggas that were celebrating yeah, for shit in the '90s that will go to the penitentiary right yeah, now. Exactly. But wait, how cool did you feel with a 27 year old? I don't think. Oh, I was the man. That's what I'm I saying. Was cool. So even I though was she's wrong, <laughs> you. I was chilling. You was with it. I was, exactly. Not saying it's right at all. Shit, I was 15 with a 19 year old. I was 15. With but that was wrong. Now I think about it. I'm like, that man you was 15 and you was 19. He was 19. I was 15. Uh, but when I was then, all my friends thought it was cool. And now I'm thinking back at it. I'm like, this was wrong. But no, mm-hmm. that's a little different. Because y'all still within the same age. But now. When he became 21, no. it was still kind of weird. Though. But here's the thing. Weird is weird. When you was a freshman in high school, he would have been a senior. So y'all is technically in the same peer group. Four years of saying the same peer group. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If but, y'all would have met though at that age. Now if y'all meet and you night he's nineteen, y'all fifty, that's different. But if y'all met and he was a senior and he was a freshman, no, or like if he, he was, was twenty two and you were seventeen Now that I think about it, I was at a party for fifteen, sixteen year olds and he shouldn't have been there. So no, it was wrong all around. Oh, I just and wrong. but you think about it when you get older, like hell no, that was creepy, you know. Yeah. But yeah, we, it's it's R. Kelly's and it's R. Like, Shelley's in yeah. the world. But I mean I mean, you know, but I mean, like in the nineties, uh, in the nineties, but niggas would really be grown picking up chicks at the junior high. Dude, I remember. Hey, dude, I remember. I used to, dude, I, but I know you saw. I, I know older you saw it. picking up chicks in high school. Though, yeah. I'd be like, dude, can you leave some for us? But anyway, I mean, niggas just coming to the school trying to fight us over. Oh, I'm gonna get my boyfriend to be a grown ass nigga showing up, <laughs> talking about <laughs> what they finna do. <laughs> But I mean, you know. Anyway, that, like it was wrong then, it's wrong now. Mm-hmm. But back to this though, because I got I got some shit that I really want to get off about this whole situation. Speak on it, man. With, with this chick, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna go as far as calling her a bitch and all that. I'm gonna be nice. But this chick no, is on extra bullshit because her coming down talking about. I'm going to release the, the sex videos, and you did this, and woo, woo, woo. This is that, Chris Rock said it, selective outrage that's prevalent in society. Because if this was if this was a dude going after a female with the, I'm going to release the video when you was doing this, and you woo, woo, and to your employer, he would have been canceled. The Me Too bitches, I mean, excuse me, the Me Too people and all them <laughs> other motherfuckers. All the, I'm just saying, I'm, once again, I'm just speaking my mind. 
Uh, everybody in they would have condemned dude if it if the roles would have been reversed. She's sitting here talking about to the that's Pelicans. Right. If y'all don't trade him, I'm releasing the sex video. That's revenge porn. Yeah, she's a porn star. Though. Exactly. Well, you take dick star, for so a living. Mind. She's like you I take see. dick for a living. You I are a cum you. guzzler. You <laughs> are. <laughs> You are a rented chick. You are pay to play. I mean, sorry. just keep it a buck. Sorry. I'm, not, <laughs> that's, that's I'm sorry, dude. But, but some of her videos are artistic. That's so what I heard. Artistic? I'm sorry. I, 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 did she I, say I, something? I don't, she I don't her find her attractive. Sorry. Sorry. She, oh, she I'm just, no, I'm just, no. What I'm doing is, what I'm saying is, the, the selective outrage for this shit. So <laughs> Twitter, artist. Twitter uh, suspended her account. Smart. Thank Good. you. Thank Finally. you for being smart. Somebody did something right because everybody else would have kept watching the train wreck. Lord giving her, I was. giving I her was. the platform <laughs> to keep doing all this revenge shit. It's, hey, wait a minute. If if he don't choose you now, maybe he'll choose you later. If it ain't you, it ain't you. Maybe it's next time. You had a uh, reason season all that time. Do you drink on this show? Yeah, we do. Okay. But, but see, you, can't, you can't force your way into... I, I'm just pissed that the, the the if the roles were reversed, because don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. the internet just like with the submarine shit. The internet is cold, and, and I seen all the jokes I about the it. I, I do. I, I crack up at I it. Live. Don't get me wrong. I live for the comments. I'm, I'm not super self righteous in none of that. I laugh at shit I shouldn't laugh at at times. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, man. Sometimes when you see messed up memes, it's just people that are miserable. <laughs> And they have nothing better to do because they talk about. You see about, some of these memes, and actually, it takes. I've been having better shit to, to do, and I'm still sharing the shit. The right. thing, yeah, when, when you're talking about sharing, either you shared or you made it. Yeah. You got yeah. some of these memes that look like it took hours to do. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, you concentrated that yeah. much time gotta, on this fucked up thing. In fact, I'll be fucking off money sitting there on Twitter watching the dumb shit. Lord have mercy. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't. Man, this, this is just. I mean, it's just. City Boys is up. Come Cusler. A thousand. Oh, no, I, I ain't giving a five. I don't know, though. Carisha, I Carisha or whatever her name is, had Diddy in the store breaking bread. And he had, Diddy got paper, and he was looking like this, like, damn. Stressed out. <laughs> and she posing with the bags and counting bread, and then they go, the camera go over to Diddy, and he looking like, that's a business transaction for for likes and views. No, did he? That's, that's them, them together, I agree. Honestly, uh, that's a that's I a agree. that's a vibe that everybody want to buy into. I'm not saying that they're not real together or nothing, but I'm just saying that shit you said. He in the store like, ooh, she spending hell of money. Mm -hmm. Come on now, mm -hmm. you really? Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't see language. Language. It looked so, a little like it was for to, for um, I, that I bad, bad thing. I haven't seen exactly. I haven't seen the video of it or nothing, but I'm just saying you. Put good press or bad press. All of it is good press. But even if you got paper and you think, go ahead, ice cream, go on up there, put a little dent in it. You think it probably ten thousand, and now she at thirty seven thousand, and you 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 got your boss yeah. image. You really want to say, hey, wait a minute, but every fucking body filming you, so well, you're here, trying to give her the. But here's the all thing. right. <laughs> Who, who's to say that? After they were done, that it wasn't. Hey, put that shit back. Or because you you're only seeing what yourself. they want you to see. Right? Are you only buying that shit? You buying that shit yourself? No, you're, you're only out. seeing what they want you to see. <laughs> Who's to say that that was a and real? See, that's the thing people don't understand. People about buy into this fucking shit. Fucking video, shit can be edited. That's you one. see what I want you to see. People only see what you want them to see. Exactly. You know what I mean, that's that's it. They right. only want you to see this part to tell their story. Right. They don't show you the beginning of that shit. Or how it motherfucking is. Exactly. It because the middle part. But I say all that to say. I say all that to say. City girls are still up a little bit. No, they're not. Um, <laughs> just like no, women, women will always win. And I'll go into is that, that right in a sec. No, I'm gonna tell you why. But so, this before, because we own the video, because we own this porn chick and mm -hmm. her fit. She and her feelings. Mm -hmm. Like you said, video shows you what they want to show you. Porn has y'all delusional. Y'all think they slapping cheeks for hella long and, you know, probably edits and this and that. That's probably about five different takes. Right, different Ma angles. All that. Okay. Be All now, this take is the ass. So We're going to get close-ups on that. Okay, and action. Yeah. Hey, I don't give a fuck how many takes y'all do with me. You can only stretch this two-minute video for so fucking long. So, <laughs> I don't give a fuck how much editing they do it. Two minutes. <laughs>
the way the way she built, two, you two gonna get a good solid still ten minute minutes. and forty five seconds. Now you gonna have to remix it, or maybe take another motherfucker and edit my head on this body and <laughs> get a stunt nigga in there and do something. <laughs> I'm but you ain't saying. doing that much motherfucking editing. I just, <laughs> I just really never been into porn because it was way too easy. It's I need easy. acting in my porn. I, you know, no, like that's that. the thing. The acting with the acting. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What they do? Oh, no, but she came in the room like, "Oops, I dropped my combs." Right. Did you? Oh. Then you hear the music. <laughs> 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 or shot it's like this. Motherfucker, he walk in like a, like an empty Kentucky Fried Chicken, yeah. and it'd be like one employee in the motherfucker and him, right? Yeah. And then he walks up. You got this chick with big ass titties. Her <laughs> shirt is halfway down. She walks up. May I help you? Do you want like, white meat or I want dark some meat? Chicken. Well, I'm a breast and thigh <laughs> man <laughs> myself. How about these breasts? <laughs> And then he look at the eel. And, 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 and then this manager comes out. And they on the counter like. But that's yeah. why they don't have that. And then the manager no comes love. out. It was like, hey, what's going on here? Yeah. Didn't I tell you about this? I'm going to fire you. I'm like, so the bitch did this before. Right. Yeah. And then she's like, well, won't you join us? And then there it is. That's the that's motherfucker. The, actual, the, the, actual, the actor was so bad that Congress actually passed a law where you couldn't act in porn movies no more. Look it up. I wouldn't make that up. Yeah, look it up. That explains a lot. Yeah, hey, there's a documentary <laughs> on, on Pornhub. I was like, because I like the little scenes. There's a documentary on Pornhub. So you like the it, acting. I like the acting. I used to break my finger trying to fast forward through no, that shit. I need to fast forward, but once they like, once I get the setup, I'm like, okay. No, the, okay, the okay, most okay, horrible. Acting, to the, parts. the most horrible <laughs> acting is in soft porn. The shit they used to yeah. do on like Cinemax, like Cinemax right. in the dark. <laughs> morning. Cinemax after the dark. Yeah, you know that shit. Or was it Red Shoe Diaries? No. Or my favorite <laughs> one was like Andy Sedaris, right? Andy Sedaris was this motherfucker that had hella money, and he would have chicks that was like like a porn Charlie's Angels, uh -huh. and the shit would be high budget. He would have yeah. helicopter crashes and everything, mm -hmm. but it's a fucking soft porn. Hey, you know? And there's always a shower scene. Yeah. In the, I don't give a fuck you what it is. Snowfall? Yeah. Yeah, watch the vault. Well, you know the dude that played the Uncle Jerome? Yeah, he played in Zane. Yeah, he started yeah. in the Zane. He started in Zane. The Zane really? Chronicles. Yeah. yeah, he was in Zane I Chronicles. Know, I did not know that together. He was the football yeah, he was player. He was the football player there. in Zane. They, just, they got the Jerry Curl on him. It's still yeah. ball, but that's dude. Yeah. He was the star. Tariq or something was his name or some shit. Yeah. I used to watch that shit back then. They'd be like, I'm like, oh, that's dude. And then the, yeah. the female, uh, she do comedy or she do right. some other acting now. The female that used to be his girlfriend in the shit. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh man. I was like, I was actually happy when I saw the snowfall because I was like, you came really came from. Yeah. came a long way. From, from, from yeah. Really it happens. From now, Cinemax now, porn now we're going to get deep with Ice Queen. Okay. Now, Ice what? Queen. You got your music. She her shoulders get to shit. She's like, "What the <laughs> shit? This nigga for the ass." You got your music. You got your movies coming out. Everything's coming out. You're on top of the world, and some shit goes viral on the internet to try to embarrass you or make everybody looking at you crazy. And you the trending topic. What do you do? It's really hard to make me care about what somebody thinks about me or says about me. So I mean, it would have to be really bad. Like, how bad is it? Uh -huh. Like, I got a soft porn out there or what? Do you? No, I don't. Oh, because you said, I mean, because no, the way I'm you said it. No, I'm asking him, how bad I is he? Like, nigga, did you is watch it? Like, it? Like, it's bad enough that your parents, is call, your parents calling you saying, girl, what is this they saying about you on the internet? Oh, I'm like, don't worry about that internet talk. Because <laughs> have you seen this thing with Summer Walker and Jess Hilarious that went bad today no, on each other? Really? Yeah, so they cussed each other out. You, Summer Walker, who used to be a video vixen, like mm -hmm. back in the day when they had video vixens in. in no, videos. not that Summer Walker. Mm -hmm. Oh, a different one. The Summer you know, Walker. So, the same you actually, oh. actually, you know something that's uh, that's funny though. Summer Walker, who you talking about, yeah. used to manage the other the Summer, Summer Walker. Walker. Really? Yeah. really? Yes. Yes. Wow. In yes. fact. I think the Summer Walker that's the singer yeah. is really a tribute. Like, her name really ain't Summer Walker. Yeah, like, it's, it's a tribute to yeah. the yeah. Summer Walker Summer that Walker. put her in the game. Yeah. Kind of like the OJs, because the OJs name is a tribute to their manager, mm -hmm. whose name used to be, his yeah. last name was OJ. Mm -hmm. But her and Jess Hilarious was going that? bad See, on each other. See, we're smart as fuck on bad this on show. Each you motherfuckers don't understand. We and smart she niggas. called herself exposing Jess Hilarious that she was in Lil Meech's DMs. And they was going back and forth. And But now, a lot of people's getting that Summer Walker, and she put up a post saying, I don't give a fuck. Y'all can call me ghetto. I am ghetto. I'm the cherry chick. Go to the store with a bonnet and no makeup on. She I don't is. give a fuck. I am 100% real. 
I like she that. really is. That's yeah. the reason why she don't be out on outside all the time. Like you see Miami, she's usually fake all the time. Like she's on go all the time. Summer Walker, she has to take all that off and be just normal. She can't be fake. And young Miami oh, is the one that's right. on she that will. new show what? that's on um on Ma what's Max. it called like rap chicks. Right, yeah, rap chicks. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, that's not Miami. They playing. They uh -huh. doing Miami Story. Oh, the uh, the that's on HBO Max. Yeah, yeah. rap chicks. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Miami Story. But ain't her name Young Miami or something? Yeah, but that's not the actual Young Miami. Yeah. That's just a chick. They, they doing their story. Oh. It's like mm -hmm. some eight mile mm -hmm. get rich or die trying type shit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hey, I got a comment in here. Uh, yeah, Naya I remember Lee those. Thompson, she said. Shout out to Daniel. She said, I took naked pictures with boxing gloves. Hey, yeah, shout out sure. to Daniel. If it's artistic, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I like that. Well, yeah, nothing wrong with being artistic. I mean, sexy is sexy. You know, shit. Hey, if they can't handle that, oh well. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Feed them uh, fish to a them metal them straw. Fish, yep. But yeah. in Kiki's case, that is now in Ailey's case, I know you're heavy into the church now. So, oh, if those pictures would ever come out, I know I deleted them off the hard drive, but I wasn't the only one with them. If they was to ever come out, would you let it affect your current career, or would you say, oh well? Everybody was young once. Well, Kim Kardashian made money off of it. I'm just and, saying, uh, there's a but way she has to the take for the connection. She has a commercial you, you know, about underwear know. that says she didn't used to wear underwear. That's you her commercial. But then she got that off of Brooke Shields, yeah. which came out was that nothing comes between me and my Calvins. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. So, same shit. Nobody but the thing before. about you got to remember, and which is impressionable to these, to these sisters, you know, all sisters on... on they make y'all think that's the avenue, the only way to go. The only way to get on is to do that type of shit. And too many of our sisters fall victim to that mentality. And that's fucked up. I and then mean, they wonder why they're not on. Right. But I mean, it's hard for a sister in the rap, in the music business period. Hey, no, right. went, no problem with that. SZA yeah. went Respect. number one, right? SZA was number one on her, yeah. on her last album, right? Mm -hmm. She literally went in and because of the pressure for people talking about her look, she literally went and recreated her whole body. She got her nose, her chin done. That's pressure. Uh, uh, a BBL. SZA went and did everything. I thought she was perfect mm -hmm. on control. She came back on the second album, and well, you could barely recognize her. I mean, I said she didn't look good both ways, but right. she looked so completely I mean, different. Yeah, she looked but good. then on the second album, I guess with the more mainstream nose and everything like that, Scissor's album is now the number one selling R and female R and B album in the last twenty years. The shit went like fourteen times number one, all this and that. And the reinforced message is, is that you do natural this. Scissor was number one, but operated on Scissor yeah. is a, is a is worldwide good. superstar. It was, so it's what just do like, you do? Um, you got to go get surgery because you want to be just on like that the level one too. singer. What's her name? Uh, uh damn, damn, damn. Uh. What's her name? Uh, what you call it? Monet something. What's her name? Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet. Remember she was in Tuxedo. Right. So when she first came out, she was all covered up. And she even used to speak on how I don't need to show my body to, you know, it's respectable. Don't You know what I'm saying? I'm all, we always going to respect women like that. You know, just being honest. It's, it's cool. You don't have to do all that. When, like, you, get to the, the, when now, you get to the Janelle Monet position, it's still the position. She out showing titties. She out doing yeah, all... And because she finna play uh, Josephine Baker, I believe. <laughs> right. And now, but just this industry, and, and then once again, like when you said, yeah, it's a cold city, game. But you said that city girls are up. But don't get me wrong, we up. But mm -hmm. w when it comes to everything, sex sells. So women will always be at the forefront of this, the running how the business Period. goes. Because dudes is always going, you can be 105 years old. You gonna want to see a fresh pair of titties. Yeah, you gonna want to see. Five, I'm good. I, really I didn't say do nothing with them. I said see. No, the titties got to be bringing me some Jello. I, 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 I don't know why she did, but <laughs> I feel like it was like an artistic industry. way it of showing be. women like in a beautiful way. Because oh no, women, women are used, beautiful in all forms. But the women she used wasn't like you know the girls you see on Instagram. They was regular women. So oh, I feel great. like she's showing like natural. Have you seen but, commercials? You know, I feel like, like it was a celebration. No, I yeah. get that. I get that. But it kind of came out. Remember she when she first came out? 
Yeah, but I mean, she still dresses that way, just not all the time anymore. But I was, it was hot, and she didn't need to take. Oh, I'm, I'm not complaining. It was hot. As a male, I was hot as a full blooded male. <laughs> And I think she's gay, right? It's like Didn't this. She come out of I always thought she was cute. Right? She, 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 she says she's queer. Pansexual? She's a, she's a beautiful sister. Yeah. See, but but mm-hmm. sex will always sell because Period. only fans. You, you, you got, here's, this is why once I was saying the women is up. Mm-hmm. They big up. Don't get me wrong. We take our small victories as men. Mm-hmm. But they up because women on only fans is clearing millions. And who bought a lot of houses. Based on motherfuckers paying just to watch them do shit, they don't get. I, I don't. I don't subscribe to nobody's OnlyFans. You can get shit for free on some sites. So, <laughs> but I'm just saying, you actually have dudes, females, whatever. Sex sells, but and you think about it, the industry. Once again, this is industry pushes us in the direction of this: how you get on, this how you can get all this and that by doing all these different things. Charging what is it? Some people will do posts and story. Oh, my OnlyFans is free this weekend, or <laughs> it's twenty dollars, seven, not ten, and what? But and you got hella subscribers. But the thing is, and they clearing paper. But the thing is, is that OnlyFans is not a new shit. Like there was a lot of yeah, females back in the day when they had um, the video evictions and all that. They had right. their own websites, but their websites were pay websites. Right. Like mm-hmm. they had memberships. But they like, putting them the shit now. A month, and for $30, they're cutting out the middleman now. Shit. Yeah, they're cutting yeah, out Melissa the middleman. Melissa Ford and all them. I mean? They're cutting out the middleman. You know what I mean? So it's not a new fucking idea. Yeah. It's always got them in there. It's, and, Period. and you got some, don't get me wrong. I mean, but you know, there's more, look at the there's women more on and more, I don't want to say thirsty motherfuckers, but there's more and more there's motherfuckers on the internet to where now, like, you can charge, like, say for an OnlyFans page, you can charge 5 to $10 a month, but you're going to get. Like, you know, 500,000 people to yeah, fuck with your shit. Exactly. Versus back in the day, it was like $30, and you may have maybe 50,000 people to fuck with you. Maybe 25,000. Well, that's if you was like a enough. Melissa Ford. Nah, you got to do this. It's, I'm talking about back in the day. Yeah, but But it's the entertainment now, industry. Get the fuck over it. It's oversaturated. And I want you to get the women is up. Dude, they up big time. Because you got dudes tricking, tricking, and and you got and I'm well, just you had thirty years of niggas hollering that ain't tricking if you got it. It's tricking, tricking is tricking. It's tricking I'm gonna give a fuck. How do you feel? You as got a woman? it. Tricking is, is tricking. Tri- is is there such a thing as tricking, or is it tri- it ain't tricking if do you, you got it? Do you go on a date, Dutch? Do you pay your shit on the date? No. Do you take out your? Do you let or? niggas take you to, for coffee on a date? Mm-hmm. If they want to, sure. You take me wherever you want to. Remember, Ronnie was but like, oh, that's a non-starter. Like Ronnie said if a nigga say coffee, it's a non-starter. I, look, I mean, maybe for some people. I just love, like, Starbucks and stuff. So if you give me a Starbucks, I'm going to be like, oh, you thought hey, you already me. expensive. I mean, you just Starbucks? Yeah, you want to try one of those. 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 Oh, oh, oh. So if a nigga try to go dunk it down, it's out. It's out. Exactly. And but, I don't want no Folgers in my cup. No, I could have made that at home. I'm okay. It's be, it's made. It, 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 it's me more what it's made with love. So when he, <laughs> hey, when he said, well, so when he says for our first date, I thought we could just maybe take a walk through the museum. That'd be nice. I mean, it's not like okay. Look, I feel like the more you have to do, the less she likes you. Right. Okay. So, so if one dude says we're gonna take a walk through the museum, and another dude says we're gonna take a walk to crustaceans. Which one I like? Which one I like? We asked the They both. No, they like both. They both. Museum crustaceans. They both. Five, eight, 127 pounds with glasses on. Museum. They have the, the six feet, so they don't which count. Which one I click with? Because that Museum also matters. Museum crustaceans. I around you too, you know. They got so the, got the I same I personality. Like they got the same build. They got the same everything. Twins. Museum okay. yeah, crustaceans. Twins. I'd rather go to crustaceans. Uh, but that's, uh, <laughs> but that's Thank you for keeping it real. But that's not saying that maybe tomorrow we can't go to the museum, but. But what if this motherfucker can make crustaceans? Thank you for keeping it one hundred. <laughs> that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but and then at the same time, you have like say that's it's a female speaking. that got um, you know super followers on OnlyFans or whatever, and she making like I said, you got women that's making millions, hundreds of thousands of dollars at a minimum on OnlyFans, and then you got a dude who's maybe a regular can, dude and they got a show getting at her right. They but she like she but she she make it she banking, she and then the dude money. like hey you know some let's uh let's kind of taper down on that she like, why would I give up 
Because it's this guaranteed. Now, I get you with the shelf life, but listen to me. This is what I'm talking about why they winning. And it makes it harder for the, the average dude. And once again, I'm just... I'm the old dude on the Muppet Show. And there's nothing wrong with Folgers. Go ahead. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't, like I don't drink coffee. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> nothing at all. I, I, don't, I don't drink <laughs> good coffee. Sanka. Y'all Sanka good. Sanka. 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 But I'm just saying, you, like you. the average dude to me, uh, you know, a, a nice woman who got her OnlyFans, and she she pocketing and shit. And not saying that she fucking dudes, because OnlyFans, the, the extra shit is basically pay-per-view porn. Mm-hmm. Cutting out Vivid and... Uh, Excuse yeah, me. All the other movie distributors. That's that's well, that's all OnlyFans is doing. They just they just made OnlyFans the middleman now. Fuck all the porn companies because they like we. Why are we paying big budget for all this when she like shit? Why I gotta come? Why and we do, gotta have acting in yeah, the porn? But the thing I is, can do what I want. And, but you got motherfuckers that that's paying. But sometimes that shit is a lure. Yeah. Like, cause they know motherfuckers got shelf life. Cause they're gonna be mm-hmm. the next bitch that's better than you that's gonna come out and do the exact True. same thing. So now it's a shelf life. Like you get out there, you do your thing. You got millions of motherfuckers hitting your 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 fans only page. Then mm-hmm. you got one of these young ass rappers that go, "I'm a wife that bitch," so she ain't got to do that shit. And then that takes her <laughs> off a lot. That's but, what happened. That, that's that, what motherfucker happened. But that's what happened back in the day when females used to want them athletes. Yeah. But you know, they that's, that's, that's design on shit. But at the same time, if you got a woman that's making, and I'm just once again, I'm just looking at this. Well, you got a rational mind to do. Call the shelf life. Right, looking at the female, the dude coming like, hey man, you know something? Make man? a song called Shelf Life. I like, I, 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 I don't want you doing that shit. And she like, motherfucker, I'm making bank, and no disrespect to you, but I'm making bank. Now, like you said, shelf life. I get it. Shelf life. She like, motherfucker. So you would know. When the last man, time you heard Buffy the Body's so. name? Hey, she used to be like mm-hmm. top five. She was right. like she the, was top the top five. She was top five. That was the top Kai five. Right you had yeah. Melissa Ford. But you got to look at it like this. But you got to look at it like this. Make a song called Shelf Life. As a man, you would have to have, you would have to really evaluate the woman. Like you could say, okay, Ice Queen is on OnlyFans, but Deja isn't. And if you can separate the two, I get then that. it ain't a problem. But if Deja's embracing the full ice queen, like she ice queen, like you that. said, Miami is always on go. Mm-hmm. So everywhere we go, all the time, when you wake up in the morning, if you always ice queen, I might be like, hey, I'm good True. because right. you all on OnlyFans is that. But if you get your millions as ice queen, but when you come home and you saying, are you hungry and you Deja and you make me some chili cheese dog, I'm not going to have no problem with what you do as if I could separate the two, but sometimes right. your life gets that, so intertwined. You gotta be a strong individual you know to be able saying? to deal with that. But with that and like if you some... Sukiyana's boyfriend or Sexy Red's boyfriend. She got a husband, right? Oh, Sukiyana? Yeah, I think so. Kids, and she's like, yeah, I think that's so. Right. I know she ain't Sukiyana at the house. You got porn you know stars that are married. She's not. Anybody want to know later? Mom no. at the house, which yeah. is crazy. I have some later. So then I could <laughs> let her go be Sukiyana because I know he whatever my real name. I think her real name is Destiny. I get mm-hmm. Destiny at the house. But yeah. like this, but like take a strong at, individual. But like as a person yourself who's talented, right? And you look up and you putting in your work. And then you look up at somebody like, what's this sexy red chick? My mm-hmm. booty hole is brown, and this and that, and and she's rapping like a motherfucker just, and no no disrespect to her, I've seen her videos back in the day, so I love to see that she's winning, mm-hmm. I love to see anybody winning, but her particular rap style and persona is almost like a motherfucker woke her up and said, rap, bitch, uh, you know what I'm saying? To see something like that winning. And you see so many say it's so many talented girls here in the Bay who can only get a couple thousand views. Right. And as an artist, do all that. not saying not on no hate shit, but as an artist, sometimes how do you feel when you see somebody basically bullshitting and just selling sex and winning? So, do you think fans only pages always got to be about sex? I honestly don't, and I I don't understand why people. So, what would a fans only page look like to you? Okay, we'll have to. Okay, I haven't seen one, so I really don't. I seen one where a girl is doing home improvements and drywall and all this. She's doing it in a bikini, but 
logo in the beginning. I, I was thinking, like, maybe you could model clothes or something. You don't have to take yeah. your clothes off, but you can still we show your body. You can like, still, still get model. To, you and you should like, people want to have memberships for that. And then, like, you can sell your clothes or whatever. I'm not saying you're going to have as many members as somebody who takes off their clothes, but, you it's know. It's girls that got millions of views on YouTube by trying on bikinis. Yeah. They do bikini try-on videos. I know people who just sit there and stare at people try on uh, clothes and wigs and stuff. And I know females that got websites where they're smoking weed damn near naked and they got hella hits. I could do that. So, I wouldn't, but I could. Just wearing a hat? I mean, that's, that's apparently what they, but that's the reason why I I can't pop off the way everybody else does because I'm not about to do everything that they're willing to do. So. Right. You know, so that's you gotta be, a fans only page that you looks like somebody trying on their clothes. Excuse me, I'm going to the dressing room and I'll be right back with this next <laughs> dress. So I, look, this is the dress. There's I'm gonna put on this one right here. Let me go in the dressing room and put this one on. This is it. So right, I charge thirty dollars right, a right. month. Okay. So but the industry. Still. All right. There's keep, options. Okay. Keep, What's your plan to get to where yet. you need to be in the next couple keep years? This shit real. Um, I'm really just about to keep going. I feel like consistency is the most important thing. So I really just want to say super consistent and stay busy. And that's really just going to, I feel like consistency is the main goal. Just that's what's up. keep going, never stop. No sleep. I Hopefully I don't have to sleep. <laughs> I really, if I could never sleep again, just work and get everything done, I really would. In fact, that's going to be my only only for me sleeping. You want to be able to sleep. <laughs> Log in and, and watch me sleep. the mailbox and go... Then who sent me this hundred thousand? One day, yes. I'll put this shit in the bank money. Where's this royalties? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Get the bag. Royalties are so up and down. I got a royalty check a few months ago and got on some. Man, stop talking to me. I don't understand the language of you po niggas. <laughs> Another royalty came and that shit was less than the paper that it printed on. And I was like, hey, what's up with my niggas? <laughs> <laughs> we pull out here. <laughs> the royalty game is so up and down. Sometimes you can get them and you be like, why is these peasants calling me? No, I'm not hungry, nigga, because you ain't got escargot, nigga. <laughs> and then other times, oh, hey, blood, let me hold Dub till, uh, <laughs> let me hold Dub till Friday. I'm trying to get some chicken. I got a royalty piece. check. Motherfucker said, I owe them. I was like, nigga, I wasn't even on the track. <laughs> I wasn't even there, nigga. I wasn't even my voice, uh, nigga. How would you go and remit your payment? <laughs> hey, shout out! Hey, shout out to these companies because these companies are doing you. They're pencil whoop years. The old folks used to say, "Motherfucker sent me a royalty statement, said I owed them money, and then said, where's the next one?'" And I'm like, "Where I'm from, if a nigga owe you the amount you said I owe y'all." Y'all would have sent some hitters to come you get me talk. already. <laughs> you want me to owe you again? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Which tells me you obviously didn't lose the money you said because exactly. you should have a picture of me throwing darts at it if you really lost this right. money. But you, you know never these. Do but you know these. I'm, I'm a, just. I was just saying to shame the devil, man. Sometimes these white folks will sign you to these contracts, and they will send out these statements, and all you gotta do is laugh, like. You know what? Y'all lying, this and that. Just give me another advance and I'll give you some more shit. And I'll slap some more shit together for you. All right. Life is a And speaking shit. of that, Trina is watching. Shout out to Trina because like she up. helped notarize that contract for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever need any notarized, Trina's a mobile notary and she's very thorough. And her yeah. last name is Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I had like a 49 page contract. And then here goes the thing. Somebody said, Blood, did you read it? Because you know you got to read contracts. And I'm sitting there lying. Yeah, I read it. You know I look like stupid? You don't know I ain't read no goddamn 49 page contract. That shit could have said, Pharaoh will not get paid his full monies unless he learns Chinese. That could have been like, It's right there on page 43. <laughs> you signed it. You didn't. You So, Blood, you want to get paid? Speak Chinese. And I'd have been like, Oh, I didn't hey, read that part. You'd have been looking, you'd have been looking <laughs> at Google Jen. Translate. Yeah, Jen. What is this motherfucker saying in this song? Google Translate. <laughs> is your friend. Right. Hey, Siri. But, hey, it's too late for me. I got about 15 bad contracts. But for any of you youngsters watching and coming up, this or that, take your time and read the contracts. Please. Always read the contracts. Read the fine print. Even if it's in the case of, like, even if you and some Lil Wayne and, and Baby and it's, they calling you Paul and... Uh, you, I'm your son, this and that. Still read the contract. Follow. Read the contract. And and always Follow keep in mind, 
most likely corporations and individuals are going to cheat you. That's part of the game. You That's just their have job. To, you just have to think to yourself, can I live with this? And if you can't live with watch, that exploitation, then do it. Let movie. me tell you something about the music industry. Because my, my, my thing in the music industry is I came by, by way of music television. Call That's what I do. I've talked to a lot of presidents at record mm -hmm. companies and the whole nine yards. I know the Thanks fucking game. Yeah, the game sure. is this, for them to make a lot Come of motherfucking on. money, and then when they feel they don't need your ass no more, you're gone. You got to think of there's artists that made millions that were on top of the motherfucking world. Mm -hmm. And then the record companies, when that one album didn't sell or that second album didn't sell, they was like, uh, partner, uh, peace. Mm -hmm. one, one documentary, as you can watch, Unsung is one of my favorite fucking shows. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the one on Christopher Williams. Oh. Man. He said... His phone used to ring off the hook, and then motherfuckers wouldn't take my calls. Watch yeah. that one. Yeah, he went, and to, also watch he went into the office and, and told some shit up. Yeah, watch that he was, one. Hey, that Christopher Williams is about that life. You know who else did that? Ron Shout out to my brother. Ron Newt. Ron Newt went down to LA. May rest in peace. But he yeah. went down to the office of NCA and beat and the shit out of a couple motherfuckers. Told that motherfucker up. You can't play with that. Well, when play you watch you. Straight Outta Compton and you seen the scene with Ice Cube, Ron yeah, Newt that shit that. wasn't for dramatic purposes, trust me. Yeah. So when so it's a year from now. They got the hundred thousand dollar advance check sitting there. They got the full contract, but they need you to sign and it. And you now. made that song called Shelf Life, which made you millions, and you gave Rock ten percent of that. Oh, what, what, what do you do? What do you do? The check is there. The contract is there. But the man needs your answer now. What do you do? So I, I get to read the contract. Then. No, I need it now. Oh, we got somebody. We got a chick out of Georgia called Spice Ice, and we finna sign her. So what we finna do? No, I definitely gotta read the contract. I gotta read the contract. But it's a hundred bands right here. Honestly, if you sitting here trying to get me, and you telling me there's a contract, you're gonna let me read it. Like you're obviously not here to just like be like sign or don't. You obviously would you want take that me. chance? Because yeah. I know your family could use I you come would. showing up with six figures. Yeah, but I mean. You gotta let go of some money sometimes to make good decisions. Cause sometimes you can, you don't know what's in that contract. Right. I don't. Okay. I don't I mean, know what's in that contract. And but you know, you know that bread right there. I read it. I all. mean, money is important, but it's not everything when you're in like when you sign with the devil. Okay. So that's how you gonna sell that. Mm. That's real. Okay. I mean, I, I, I mean, it, it could be all because if it was nothing but great things inside that contract, why wouldn't they not let me read it right now? I could at least skim through it, right? So obviously there's something in there they don't want me to see. You gotta learn to read shit. I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you a prime example. I was in the fourth grade, right? And there's this game we used to play. It was a board game where it was sort of like war, and it was back in the old days when you had the, the Ottomans and the whatever. And me and my friends, we we was playing this game, and you took over. You had conquer, con uh, you had to conquer certain areas, and it, we all playing this game. And so they had me surrounded, right? These motherfuckers wrote a treaty. And like I was in the like fourth grade. I remember this shit. I this is some this is a life lesson I learned in the fourth grade. So we playing this game, <laughs> taking over shit, you know, it's it's everybody for themselves, but and you like you taking over either Europe, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The, the con conquistadors, whatever. I can't remember the name of this fucking game. Yeah. But whatever, that's what the the shit was. You take over shit. So they had me surrounded and they signed a treaty. They made up a treaty. And I had to sign it. This is during the game. So I signed it before these motherfuckers finished the treaty. <laughs> so you didn't even well, know the know. terms in detail. I'm just, I, 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 was, I said fourth grade. I remember what grade <laughs> I was in. I was in the fucking fourth grade. Signed the shit. And these motherfuckers, if we say so, you got to turn your men around and or your soldiers. Well, way past my little bit grade. of infantry I left got to kill themselves. And I was like, I'll... And I, I was, I'm just saying that's you learn no, to read. No, the lesson, son. the lesson in that is that you got four motherfuckers in the fourth grade doing treaties, bro. <laughs> hey, that's your motherfucking that's a lesson. Life lesson. I'm I'm that's why you got motherfuckers in the fourth grade smart enough to know what a treaty you is. You got to cheat them right Well, I'm way past the fourth grade, and Trina, who was doing the notary, said, "Did you read this?" And I looked her in her eye, and I said. You know I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't read, read it. See, like, hey, you gotta he read. But here goes the everything. thing. Here goes the thing. There was a whole gang of bread that was waiting on me to fax back this notary, mm -hmm. and I had people on my team who was a couple of them was facing eviction, this and that, right? Mm -hmm. So I said to myself, it don't matter 
how I'm fucking myself over in this contract because I know it is. You gotta make the I gotta, I gotta, you gotta, put I, gotta, I, gotta the I gotta feed the people, and if I get fucked over in the long run, right? I know my. That's I just hope I just hope my people know that part of the reason why I'm getting fucked over, I, I'm making movies to I'm fill sure these terms some... and this and that. Is because I, I take that. care of you, but and that's why I say that's just, that's, that's when that bread is sitting on the table and the people are saying I need you to sign now. Now, if you say like my mom, like she about to like say my mom about to lose her house, she need a hundred thousand right now and the money on the table. And I'm like, I know mm -hmm. this ain't great, but you know what? For moms, I right. okay, whatever. Like if I knew that, like I'm like okay, I know this ain't really gonna be shit. I probably shouldn't do this, but. I'm taking an L for my son, for my mom, or something like that. I would do that. You know, that's different. Mm -hmm. Like you, that's uh, that's the thought. You didn't just sign shit. But what I tell my son all the time, because he claims he don't want to read, so he just be like, I'll be like, Zion, is that cool? He'd be like, Yeah. I'll be like, That's sure, you. I'm gonna get all your money. Give make me sure your, your son money. don't end up like <laughs> the other Zion. Please. Hey. No, that's why I'm so mad. Oh. Why would she put that on her face? My son don't like no, that. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you don't end up like that though. And then taking a step back. Um, Please. With, with the wife, which is Trina. The reason why we got married when we did, because mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> my best friend, who's in the studio now, mm -hmm. went found her ass in the bathroom high, talking about, oh, we get married right now. And he convinced her ass to bring her ass back. So Shout out to Fee. Shout out to my guy, Fee. <laughs> Even though she went, she went over the marriage vows with me, all right, nigga, having the hold, nigga, sickness and health, nigga, you gonna sign this, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, Gotta that's the contract. The print. But I read fine print, but I'm good. So, <laughs> so you know, you've been out there, and even though you got a baby face, you're not a baby. This and that. Yeah. Are you prepared for the wolves? Because I once saw L.A. Reid say that you. Pink. He knew Pink, the the singer Pink. Because remember when they mm -hmm. first brought Pink okay. out, they had a singer with Missy. They had a they had the as, mm -hmm. as a, the uh, the the. The uh, black adjacent yeah. female. Thank you. And it, came, she yeah. came out on the black tip first. Mm -hmm. yeah. and that but that's what that's what the industry with, uh, does. And who else was she? Lil Kim. Mm -hmm. But L. A. Reid that said, I no. knew she was going to be a superstar. Yeah. But I also knew that she was completely unprepared to be a to be a star. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared? I mean, I feel because like the way the game is goes now, you could go from here, record Shelf Life, and six months from now be doing stadiums. Are you prepared? I'm really about to go record the shelf life. Y'all got me amped. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, you better write this shit right, too. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, what's this girl out of New York, Scarlet? Have y'all been seeing her? No. She's so weird. I, I mean, the way she talks, I just hate But here's the thing. Three months ago, nobody knew her name. And I now, didn't. she is... Well, that's just but you know how we actually figured out about her is when Man, they asked her. They asked her, um, "What are you? What kind of deal are you trying to get?" She didn't even really know how the industry worked. That's the video I saw. Oh yeah, we're glad. Yeah, yeah, that was really sad. They had to actually explain it to her, but, but everybody else is like. But where would she have gotten her? the knowledge from? Yeah, that's the thing. The, the industry is set up to catch you off guard. Mm -hmm. You can, you can. Here's the thing. Say you do. This is all hypothetical. Say you do a, a cover of something, right? Sing it. Mm -hmm. Let's just go into because you said you sing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's say you 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 YouTube or IG live a cover of somebody singing, and then boom, it blow. Industry is like, hey, like you said, she probably ain't ready. The machine gonna say, hey, no. The machine gonna say, okay, she got a hundred thousand views. They're gonna push a button, make it two million views. Overnight, yeah. Uh, you understand this business. Yeah. What, we're, what we're not saying, all follows and views ain't always organic. But what we're yeah. not saying is, is that one thing about the music industry, it's never changed. It it's just the fucking fifties, motherfuckers being robbed. Mm -hmm. It's never mentality. changed. And the funny thing about it is that paid. there's shit that's it's never changed. That's never changed that people really don't pay attention to, like drugs in motherfucking music. Yeah, like. You can see all of these singers that said drugs fucked up my career and then there'll still be singers after them mm -hmm. that get on motherfucking drugs. There's <laughs> there's 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 things in the industry that where they mm -hmm. always go like lead singers, like mm -hmm. motherfuckers are getting your ear talking hey, about rockin'. you don't need the rest of them yeah, motherfuckers. Rose well, Royce. Well, ain't nobody coming to see well, you, Otis. Rose Royce. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. We'll name the chick Roy, Rose. And uh -huh. this, but like you mentioned Glorilla earlier. You look on fuck nigga free. Glorilla and her partners literally look like they was about to go like maybe to the beauty supply or something. And somebody said, 
Let's shoot the video. The energy. They even had no a baby hair. with them. They was in the Ultima. I mean, you know, the hairdos and everything. Hey, the black like, don't get me wrong. Baby mama. I love a turf chick, and the whole squad was looking turf as fuck. Now, you look at her, she it's glamorous. It's, it's she glamorous like, oh, in the videos you. now. But you can't tell me that Glorilla that was doing Fuck Nigga Free with the Ultima in a parking lot was prepared for this game. Obviously not. She getting sued by everybody just for that one song. Right. Like everybody. So obviously she didn't even know that. And then she gave up most of her royalties to, um, who was it? Um, the hit kid. The one who signed her, uh, Yo oh, Gotti. Right. So Yo Gotti really But there wasn't the probably song. no way to get on. But technically she never owned the song anyway, so Yo Gotti's fighting with the producer. So she obviously didn't know. She's not getting any money. So would you have signed? It's a business. That's why I <laughs> know the what's the entertainment in. industry. Look what's where she at now? It's yeah, she took an L, but look at her. It's the realest it's Period. the coldest cut, It's bro. the coldest shit. You gotta shit. understand and the it, And it doesn't hide itself. It doesn't. It, it tells is you. It what the fuck it is. It's, it, That's look, why I love the music you. industry. caught up in the moment, though, you Here's want the it thing. to be something different. Here's, Here's the thing. The music industry, I'm gonna give you the perfect uh, uh, visual. Old school cheese grater. Which is funny. Old school cheese grater. The old school cheese grater. You remember that shit with the little handle? And you had the, the four sides and each side. Each side was a different. Right, right. Each side was a different shape of the cheese. You had to take the block of cheese, which is already formed in perfection. They come in cubes. <laughs> and you had to rub it aggressively. That's the music business. And break down to pull it up and you can shred the cheese on your tacos on whatever. What's up, Flash? Yeah, uh, but as you grating the cheese, the it's cheese breaking diminishes. Down. It diminishes. It breaks you down. That's the bit that's the music industry. Nigga, you want the cheese? I, I, I you know I gotta break shit down like a sack. He wanted a taco. I, yeah, that's break shit that's down like a sack. I wish Chameleon there would speak more because Chameleon is hey, he left the video. Hey, he's a, he's yeah. a tech industry now doing super shit. And people, all niggas fall off. No, you you get on and you find yeah, other well, niggas. But I need to ask him cheese, one question, yeah. though. But I'm, I'm saying that I'm talking about the music industry is the cheese yeah. grater. Okay. The artist is the block of cheese. Yeah. But did you see Chameleon there's story about Nelly? Okay. Chameleon there told the story. It's a video is circulating now where he Nelly told him. Hey man, you need to go audit. Yeah, yeah. Contract, right? and he went and found so hell of missing it. money. And so they owed him no, six hundred. No, no, it wasn't Nelly. It was Jay Z's auditor that told him that. Yes, it was okay, Jay Z's auditor. Okay, but then he auditor. told the label, "If y'all don't pay me, I'm gonna go tell other artists mm -hmm. about this." And they breaded him out, and they gave him six hundred G's. Yeah, that was, was Jay Z's account. I really want to ask him though. It was after you got account. your money, did you put everybody else up on game, or right. did you get your money? And do it moving, right? You know, because exactly. and that's another problem. Because people figure, I ain't got to outrun the bear. I just got to outrun you. But if you don't right. put everybody else on, then the system stays the, the way same. it is. Yeah. But, which which goes to at the risk of yourself, or hey. are you going to get yours? Which goes Honestly, back I to this only fans thing. People, but I always look out for people, especially my my, my people. You sounded like Rick James right now. Especially I don't remember. I don't, I never dug my feet in Eddie Murphy couch. Yeah, I remember digging my feet in Eddie <laughs> Murphy couch. <laughs> I need to do less for people, but I definitely if I got if I'm put up on game, I'm gonna tell you. If I find a way to make money, I'm gonna tell you. Like mm -hmm. I can't, sure. we can't. You know. Mouth to ear. Exactly. I want everybody Shout to Shout out to everybody tuning in. Fine. Vellsworth Bentley. What's happening, man, man? Thank you for tuning in. Let's see who else tuning in. We got... Oh, we got... Yeah, so... It's, okay, some of y'all... I can't pronounce some of this shit, so that's I'm not that. going to attempt, but thank you for tuning in. Each one uh, teach one in this game. Yeah, you Mouth to you. ears, you say. Mouth to ear. You know me. I'm I'm always be teaching. Um, For the people who may have tuned in late, once again, young lady, tell everybody where they can find you at. On Instagram, you can find me at, at one iced underscore queen. I checked it out. It's for sure that one. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you look up your own shit. Verify. <laughs> <laughs> I had to check my head. I just had right to shit. make sure y'all was following the right person. There's a lot of fake ice queens out here, but I'm the original and the only. And what about Saweetie? Are we going to see you and her in the death match? No. I feel, no. These, like, like the comments said, these women are teaming up like Avengers and we coming out on top. So ain't no reason to hate at all. Y'all pretty women. We but all can you whoop sweetie in a fight? Of course. But I love you, sweetie. I would never do that. But I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Are we gonna, now, let me ask you this. 
<laughs> now my main man yeah, right here. Supposed to answer that question. <laughs> Yeah, see, he hates when I go there. You see when I ask that question, that question, he immediately look, look, look at the demeanor. For the look, look at the demeanor. Look at the demeanor. Shit. Now I'm gonna go into something else that he hates. That's no, it. A damn. lot of artists are choosing to get on these. I'm gonna slide this mm-hmm. one by because he hates this. He knows where I'm going. Go there. Those Batty West type of shows oh. and all that, and you're expected to act a fool on those mm-hmm. to boost yourself. your career. That's why I didn't audition. Okay. Everybody I knew auditioned but me because I'm like, why would I? No, I'm not about to. No. So even though you don't give a fuck way. about opinions and this and that, you're in yours, you're not gonna, you're not gonna go there. No, I don't care about opinions. It's just that I know, not even yeah. my brand. Yeah. I just know me, and I know what yeah, I'm not about to look crazy it. as. I'm not about to look crazy on this internet fighting host. people. If I fight I'm somebody, not. just know. It would be because like they hurt my son no. or it was something serious. I'm not about to fight somebody for likes. Thank you. So, he <laughs> hates <laughs> the whole love of hip-hop, Baddies West. I, 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 I hate Baddies West, too, but love of hip-hop, I used to love Used to, I hate it now. I, I'm just against the exploitation of us and how 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 quickly we we sign up to coon and be coons on some bullshit. Because the thing about it, and then when people approach you on the coon shit you portray on the screen, you want to, oh, no, I'm I, I'm a private person. Let me know, motherfucker, you signed up and you agreed Sorry. to do this bullshit so you can't get mad when people approach you on the bullshit that they see that you portray. What page is that in the coon book, though? So is that like, like Sukiyana and that doing dude? everything. I now, that is really what I will say <laughs> about on that one. That, you know, you cooning, doing some shit. I want to read the book. Like, no. page 12, nigga says, if you're on a reality show, oh, no, then no, you're cool. Oh, no, I mean, on the Sukiyana thing? Because I, I know what you're talking about with the YK Osiris. Okay. Yeah. Dude, dude, whoever, now, I'm going to say this first and foremost. Dude, you, that's foul. If I get how, because here's the thing. Women can, sex sales, they, women will always be up. Because they can say, they can portray themselves, like you said. You can be Ice Queen from 9 to 5. From 501 to 8.59 the next morning, you're your person. Right. You can separate. So, dude doing all that extra, that's, it's a double-edged sword because if you present this shit, people will approach you that way, but at the same time, when it comes to, especially with women, you gotta be extra careful and, and cautious to how you approach a woman mm-hmm. because Nice guys finish last because we make sure they come first, second, third, or fourth. You'll get that at three in the morning. And if you ain't up at three in the morning, you finished early, and she probably be on the phone with a nigga like me, like. So you don't think <laughs> Sukiyana? <laughs> so you don't think Sukiyana anyway, was sending mixed signals? I, I, no perception. No, it could be it, it, the perception is probably that. Oh man, this is how she is. Woo woo. So as as a typical. You know, low vibrational nigga. He probably thought, man, she be disrespecting herself, so I should be able to do that. And that's probably how you approach the situation. And that's wrong. Just keeping it real. Niggas can get mad at me all day. I don't give a fuck. You niggas don't pay my bills. Until you niggas get my YouTube views up, shut the fuck up. But <clears throat> get them off YouTube. They just got up. an opinion. No, Go I just, because I seen a video. They showed me a video of. Of what the conversation was before that And she was flirt playing you know with him or whatever That didn't give him a right to do what he did But she kind of did like But she acts that way when she goes out She acts like a flirt she acts like I'm out there Blah 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 but she probably Didn't expect anybody to really just Do that you know so I mean But she did definitely Egg it on a little bit but ain't no way In this type of age and time you gotta always (laughs) Ask consent I don't know why He thought that was cool Because that's for his own good On his own good Sukiyana was on some oh I got you now Type it would have been over for his little career As someone who doesn't care I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't. I, I don't. I don't really care. So about but consent. Also, you got to honor, respect I'm about this bullshit. I don't even know the fuck she's no, But as crazy. a woman, she's really gifted. I, I, I don't give a shit. She's just out there putting herself out it there because she got a song. It was something about eating ass. So I heard right. ass, whatever. Switch, so. Yeah. But as a woman, I can see how she gets tired of that because most people think that all the time. I'm always turned. I'm always like. Like, you go through my Instagram, you think I'm always like this type. You already look at it. But there's always a backside to somebody. Like you said, when she turns it off, she's a mother. She's a wife. She's all this other stuff. But they don't 
but you can't put you it can't out. It's it a double edged sword. Yeah, you can't. The nigga wrong. When they want to, tr- when you want them to treat you like you Sukiyana, because nah, you, you want to treat me like a queen, but you can't. Be, hey, hey, hey. women in the streets, hoe in the sheets. I'm finished. I'm going to drink in my office. I'm finna go drink too. But once again, uh, tell everybody where they can find y'all on social media. Me first. You can find me at on Instagram at one iced with two e's underscore queen. Okay. You can find me on Instagram sitting in my office. And the motherfucker <laughs> chilling. That's all the fuck I'm gonna do. You can find me on Instagram. Yeah, sitting in my office because so all real? over the place. You can look up Rob. BJ TV, hunger for what you do. Hey, what's up, Priya? I'm here to find. So, that's it. You want to find me? I'm here. Well, you can find me getting ready to uh, put the fi- finishing touches on my new movie called A Hero Around the Way, a.k.a. The Black Superhero. You can find your and Ice right Queen back. has agreed to come and play the role of Arian. And we're just waiting to put together a little masterpiece. It's going to be the biggest independent black movie coming out the Bay Area this summer. And, uh, I just can't wait for y'all to see it. Oh, one more thing, shout out. And Shizzle's you, in there getting beat to death. For you your shout out, please go to on this website on yeah. Kanye Confessionals. Look up the picture of Monet Dawson. Please, yes. please look, look at that picture. At Monet's come missing. Her, let us know. Please, we let yeah. us know if you got family in Sacramento. Sis, anywhere, look it up. Anywhere, look that up. And just on a on a real note to to you dudes out there, your nuts ain't dropped all the way yet. You niggas that got anything to do with these women missing and whatever you think you're doing. This traffic. Karma, traffic. Karma, karma's a bitch. Hey. And so is their fathers. Hey, for real. And you got motherfuckers that to do anything in the world to make sure they found and that you held accountable. And you, and you hey, never do this again. Hey, I'm telling you, tell you, my first tattoo I got, right, I was watching Time to Kill. Damn. When I got my first tattoo, and me and the, the tattoo artist was that was, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, movie? yeah, we was watching that shit and chopping it up, and like, the whole time he chopped, we just chopping up about the movie. But you got people out there that's 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 really like that, man. And I don't wish nothing on nobody, but remember, that's somebody's daughter, that's somebody's sister, that's somebody's auntie, that's somebody's granddaughter, Some of these that's somebody's you niece, don't see. that's somebody's Rusty. best friend, yep. that's somebody's just whatever. And at the end of the day, you come from a woman. So you better fucking respect it, cause somebody gonna make mm-hmm. you respect it. And as long as you keep disrespecting it, the shit gonna fall back on you. And if you don't think it will, there's plenty of motherfuckers that can tell you how they, well, they can't tell you cause they probably ain't around. But I'm just saying, and you'll get that at three in the morning, bitch. <laughs>